What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success. And in this video here, I'm gonna show you how to design a giveaway contest for your clothing brand using Photoshop. And this is a design that anybody can do. And I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to do this from scratch so that you can put it in place for your own clothing brand. And if you don't have Photoshop, that's 100% cool. I posted a link in the description below if you'd like to pick it up. Otherwise, let's crack into it. This channel here is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. And if you need designs made for your clothing brand, I seriously recommend you check them out. I use them myself. I continue to use them. They're absolutely amazing if you're looking for very specific designs. And for a special $100 VIP offer for apparel success viewers only, you can head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn more or simply use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. Now, the design that I'm gonna show you how to make here is one that I've used several times for my own clothing brand and that has gotten absolutely amazing results when it comes to posting on our Instagram account, posting on our Facebook page, and creating a buzz around this post where people are tagging their friends and it's really getting a lot of engagement. As you can see here, I'm showing you the engagement that we've gotten previously on these giveaway contests. This is without promoting it, without spending any money on it, and you can see just how many comments and how much engagement they got, okay? And I'm hoping that it can do the same thing for your clothing brand. Okay, so let's jump right into this here. And the first thing that you're gonna need to do is decide on which one of your products you want to give away because we're gonna be putting this product inside of a box and taking a really high quality picture of this product so that you can cut it out and we can put it inside of this giveaway. And I want, I'm gonna show you how to do all of this coming up and I'm really just gonna even start from scratch here and show you exactly how we take the pictures for it so that we can cut it out as easily as possible and have the best picture possible to include inside of the giveaway contest. So for the purpose of this giveaway contest, we're gonna be using this burgundy hoodie that I'm showing you here. And I just wanna show you how exactly we're folding this hoodie to put it inside one of our boxes. And we're gonna use a box for this image. So if you have a box of your own, it'd be perfect for this giveaway. Although you can play around with this and really do this part however you want when it comes to taking the picture of your product. This is just how I recommend setting it up for this type of ad. And if you wanna follow along exactly, then I really recommend that you do that. But I wanna show you exactly how we're folding the hoodie first to actually fit it in this box so that it's displayed as best as possible. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down the hoodie flat on its stomach and then you're gonna tuck the hood back a bit and fold the arms exactly even from side to side. And then on each side, you're basically just gonna half fold or three quarters fold each side so that it kind of creates this nice thin line down the middle. And then when you fold that together, it'll be really this nice shape. And what we're gonna try to do here on purpose is really get the logo to show nice on the front so that it's really out in the surface and so that you can read everything. And that'll just give it the best effect possible. It's almost like, like a customer's just opened up the box and they're experiencing that for the first time. Then once I've done that, I'm gonna take a picture of this situation that we've created with the hoodie inside of the box from right on top of it as best as possible, okay? And I wanna take the most high quality image possible of this box. Now, if you're using your phone, that should work fine because phones take pretty good pictures right now, but I'm using my Canon camera here and I'm just gonna take a really high quality picture. And as you can see here, I'm actually using a light to shine the light perfectly evenly across the hoodie and across the box so that you know everything's showing really nice. And if you have a light, that's great. If you don't have a light, I recommend that if you're looking for one around your house or around your apartment or whatever it is that you wanna use, that you use one that's an LED light or some sort of white light because the white light won't make it look yellow and cause any weird colors in it, okay? So the white lights work best for this. Now I've brought this picture that we've taken to my computer and this is what it looks like raw without any editing done to it. And now basically we're going to be bringing this picture into Photoshop so that we can start designing the actual giveaway post and so that we can cut it out and do everything that we need with it. Okay, so I've brought the raw image that we took into Photoshop now and whatever image you took based on what I just showed you, that's what you will have inside of your Photoshop. And so right now we're gonna begin designing this giveaway contest and this won't take a lot of time at all. It's really not that difficult to do and it's even really not that many steps. So let's get started, all right? The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the left in the toolbar and we're gonna select the rectangular marquee tool. Now what we're gonna do with this rectangle tool is we're going to shape out the hoodie inside of this box here. And we want to create this as a square image because square images 
on Instagram show perfectly inside of the Instagram thumbnails, okay? So when people are scrolling through your Instagram account, they'll be able to see it nice and perfect inside of the thumbnail. And so what we're gonna do with this tool is we're gonna bring it over the image and you're gonna hold shift because when you hold shift and you drag this tool, it creates a perfect square. And then using this perfect square, we're basically going to cut out this hoodie as nice and tightly as possible. Now when you first create this square around your image, it's not gonna be perfect. And you're gonna to have to drag the square. If you just click on it after you've created it, you can move it however you want. And we're just gonna drag this square so that it fits nice and perfectly on the left and right side of the hoodie. And so that there's the most amount of space at the top of the hoodie because that's where we're gonna be adding the text that says hoodie giveaway and whatever else you wanna add inside of your contest. And so you can see I've perfectly laid out the square here around the hoodie, just how I want it. And what you can do here now is we're gonna basically cut out the rest of the image here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the left side again on your toolbar and you're gonna select the crop tool. Now when you click on the crop tool here, it will automatically crop the image based on that square that we created earlier. And if you just click inside of the crop, it will commit to what you have and you can still move around and adjust your crop now and basically set it exactly as you'd like it. And just remember that if you decide to change the size of the entire crop to hold shift while you do it because it'll keep it a square, a perfect square while you do that and that's what we wanna maintain. Now once you're happy with the crop that you've done, just like I have here, then if you go to the top, there's a check mark icon that you're gonna wanna click to commit the current crop, okay? So it'll basically cut out everything else and it'll make it just so that that is your main image now. And so now we're left with a pretty good base here for creating this giveaway contest. Now what we're gonna wanna do next is get rid of that white grayish color in the background from the backdrop that we were using. And depending on whatever you shot your image on, you're gonna need to cut out that background. And hopefully you use something bright when you initially took those pictures. And if you didn't, that's still 100% cool. There's still a way around it. And the simple way to get around this is if there's enough contrast between the box and the background, you can just use the magic wand tool which you can find in the left there. And you'll see that at the top with the magic wand tool selected, I have a tolerance of 40 because that generally works well here. And what we're gonna do now is just click inside of this white area and it will automatically highlight the area that we wanna get rid of. And then I'm just pressing delete on my keyboard, okay? And I'm just gonna do this until all of the white areas are gone around the image so that all that we're left with is basically the hoodie inside the box. Now, if your background is too similar to the color of your box, then what you can do is just use the eraser tool and do this manually, okay? So if you select the eraser tool on the side, you can go through the edges here and just cut out the image. It's really not that hard. There's not a lot to do here. And if you're really careful with it, it really will look exactly the same as if you use the magic wand tool to do it. But what I'm just doing here is I'm smoothing out the box because the magic wand tool kind of left a bit of chunkiness to the box here and I'm just basically smoothing that out. All right, so once the background's all cut out and you're just left with your box here, the next thing that you're gonna do is we're going to add another layer on top of this one, okay? So in the bottom right there of Photoshop, you can see where I'm clicking it. We're just gonna click add new layer and this will create a layer on top of it. And with that new top layer selected, we're going to use the gradient tool here that you can find in your toolbar to create a gradient effect on top of the box so that we can add text over it and so that you can actually read the text clearly. So click on the gradient tool inside of your toolbar and at the top, you will want to select the second one in, which is the one that goes from a solid color to a transparent color. And then inside of your colors, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the color that you have selected as your foreground color is white. And when you've done that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the top of your image here and about halfway down, from this top flap thing on the box. What we're gonna do is you're going to hold shift because when you hold shift, it'll keep this line straight for how you're applying the gradient. And you're just gonna drag it down and let go. And what this will do is it'll create this gradient effect where it'll be kind of this almost fade out into the hoodie that you have. And I'm gonna do this a few times just to sort of allow it to look a little bit more natural and kind of like the lights just fading right into the hoodie and so that it looks really smooth. Just make sure that you're holding shift while you do this because if you're not holding shift, you can get these weird angles with it and you wanna be holding shift to make sure that it's a perfectly straight line up and down. And we're gonna be adding the text on top of this. 
All right, so let's add the text on top of this image. On the left-hand side in your toolbar, click on the text tool, and at the top you can see that we're using the Homestead font, that's the font of our brand, and whatever font your brand is that you use in your main logos, that's a really good font to use for your giveaways because it keeps the branding really strong. And what we're gonna do next is just change the font color to black because the top font that we're gonna be using here is going to be black. Then we're just gonna click on the image here and what we're gonna be typing for our giveaway is hoodie giveaway. Now, if you're doing this with a t-shirt or with anything else, you can obviously put whatever you want, but we're gonna write hoodie giveaway and we're gonna space it at the top here as big as possible. And after you've written the text, if you want to actually select the text to expand it and change its size, all you have to do is press Control T or Command T if you're using Mac, and that'll allow you to actually drag the size out. And of course, if you hold Shift, it'll keep it the same exact proportions so that you don't get any kind of weird shapes with the text. And if you hold Shift, it'll keep it absolutely perfect. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just basically expanding the size and making it perfect so that it fits right at the top. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add another text layer here. And so with the text tool selected, just click on the screen and it'll create another text layer. And what we're gonna write here is tag a bud. And tag a bud obviously is super unique to my own clothing brand. Obviously, you're not gonna be doing that. But you can write tag a friend here. Whatever it is that people have to do to enter the contest, this is a good place to put your call to action, right? So if it's follow us, whatever it is, tag a friend, that's what you're gonna wanna put here. Now, once we've done that, once again, if you press Control T or Command T, you can select that exact text layer and you can change the size of it holding Shift. So the next thing that we're gonna do is select the text here. So just double click on the text so that it's highlighted. And at the top, you'll see that I'm gonna click on this little page icon. And what this is, is it basically allows you to add the effects to the text that you have. And what I'd like to do here, because it looks kind of awkward, having tag a bud be so small underneath hoodie giveaway is I like to spread it out a bit. So I'm gonna to go to the character spacing for this text and I'm just gonna type in 300. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna spread the letters out a bit so that it's nice and wide underneath the hoodie giveaway and it looks really, really nice with the character spacing. And the last thing that I'm gonna do here with this text is I'm gonna double click on it again to highlight it. And then I'm gonna to go to the colors and I'm gonna change the color of this text to white. Now when I do this, you're gonna notice that the text basically disappears because the background underneath it is white. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna double click on this layer. And what this does is it'll bring up a pop-up window and I'm gonna select drop shadow. And we're gonna be adding drop shadow to the back here so that it stands out. Now when you apply drop shadow to this text, the settings that we have are 35% for the spread and 32 for the pixels. Now you can adjust this however you like, right? Play around with it, whatever you like, but this tends to work for us and we think that it looks really good. And you can see that this giveaway contest is really starting to look good here. Everything's kind of coming together and all that we're gonna do now is just add some really simple adjustments to really make it come to life. So you may have noticed while watching this that the hoodie itself is kind of dark in the background there. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna brighten this up and add a little bit of contrast to it to really make it pop and to really make it stand out. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the layer that your hoodie or whatever product you're using is on. And you're going to go to adjustments. Now inside of the adjustments, you're gonna select brightness and contrast. For brightness, I'm gonna set it to 50. And for contrast, I'm gonna set it to 30. And you can see that when I did that, the color of the hoodie and the color of the image really pops and really comes out a lot more. And the last thing that I'm gonna do here with this is just right click on brightness and contrast there above the hoodie and select create clipping mask. What this does is it actually connects this brightness and contrast only to the layer underneath it. So it makes it only apply to the hoodie image that's underneath it. Now we're almost done. The next thing that we're gonna do is selecting the brightness and contrast layer there. Just select add new layer, and this is gonna put a layer above it. Now, what we're gonna do after that is select the brightness and contrast layer, holding shift and select the layer underneath it, and we're gonna drag the brightness and contrast layer and the layer with the hoodie on it on top of this new layer that we created so that the new layer that we created is at the bottom. Now with this new layer, all that we're doing is we're basically taking out the transparency in the back and we're changing that color of transparency to white, okay? So use the paint bucket tool on the left there, make sure that the color is selected to white and with the bottom layer selected, 
click inside your image and it should paint the background completely white. And that is a very simple way to make a very powerful and effective and clear, concise giveaway contest if you want to run one on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, inside of an ad, whatever it is that you wanna use it for. I use this structure for a lot of my ads because it really showcases the hoodie and it does it in a way where it shows it in its truest form, tucked into a box, really looking like a real product rather than just kind of like this generic product image on a website or a product image in a picture. It really brings it to life like this and it just does such a good job and I'm sure it will do really good for your brand as well. I hope that this video helped you design an amazing giveaway contest for your own clothing brand. And check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass video. It's 100% free to watch. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass and you can watch the whole thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I wanna tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have going on for Apparel Success. There's a link in the description below. Follow that link, join us in the group, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.